I guess we can do a little get ready with me for work because I got called in and I mean like why not you know <laughs> started doing my eyebrows for the first time and granted like I've come a long way I've been filling them in for a while now and fun fact I actually literally just use dark brown eyeshadow yeah I have used brow pomade but I think I've always just reverted reverted yeah back to just dark brown eyeshadow because I don't know it's just it's just the tits you know what I'm saying can we just can we just take a second <laughs> And how different it looks is like my good eyebrow it actually has like an arch in it but like it just brings something more you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and typically after i do my eyebrows i like to go in with well as you can see it's a uh, very much used i need a new one but i go in with the elf clear brow and lash mascara but i do not use this for my lashes i literally just use both sides for after I do my brows. I have been using this for quite some time. I mean, a lot of the time, like once it runs out, I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it takes me a minute to buy a new one. I don't plan on wearing a liquid foundation. If I'm being honest, I really don't wear foundation like I used to. I actually went ahead and threw away literally every single foundation I own simply because it just sat in my drawer and i never used them and a lot of them were probably expired or they just sat and just didn't look nice on my skin um except for this one i will say i did keep this one this one i'm not gonna lie is <laughs> getting really fucking old like it is old it's nasty i actually probably should have stopped putting this on my face like a long time ago we're not using this one i really need to throw it away i just want to see maybe if i can actually find this again we're gonna be using the birds bees um, mattifying, mattifying powder foundation. I actually like powder foundation. It's a very quick, simple, easy way to just get something on your face. Um, and it kind of controls all my little oily spots in my T-zone area. So that's great. Um, I, I've never tried any other powder foundation except this one. I have had this one for a while. I mean, I've clearly I've hit pan. For the rest of the face, I usually just do a little bit of a blush, kind of like in, you know, cheek area. Even though I am like a natural tomato, um, I can get the slightest bit warm and my cheeks are like crazy <laughs> fucking red. Um, like yesterday, it was like 70 degrees, fucking nice as fuck for the middle of March and... I looked like a tomato just a little bit. I don't know why. My cheeks just always get really red. People are like, why are you blushing? And it's like, I'm not blushing. I'm just literally, my cheeks are always red. So it's a great day. It's a great day. <laughs> First, we have a little bit of contour that I just kind of plop on my face. Honestly, I never do makeup for work. Mm -mm. It is very, very rare that I have makeup for work. I mean, my eyebrows are like one thing, but like having makeup makeup on, no, it's really rare. I've probably worn maybe, maybe three times, if that, a whole face, like glam face of makeup to work. But for the most part, no, I don't got time for that. So I don't think I've filmed like one makeup video since I've gotten my new light, my, my light, <laughs> my mirror light thing. This is something I asked for Christmas, so it is nice to have. Obviously, when I have all the other ones, it's nice, but if I'm doing my makeup by myself or we need a little extra powwow-wow, there we go. It's nice. You guys remember these brushes? Yeah, these brushes that I still have yet to clean that are still in the same thing. It's been months. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm so bad at cleaning my makeup brushes. I know. I know. Someone yell at me right now. I need to clean them. And every time I'm like, Autumn, go clean your shit, bro. It never works. It never happens the whole fucking time. Anyways, so grab a random fucking fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with some type of brown orangey shade. Actually, we're going to mix in between two shades. We're going to give a little tappy two. And I'm just crease it. We just shove the color in the crease. And 
blend crazily. I don't know. There we go. See? All right. And then on the other side of the brush, because it's a dual ended one, I'm going to put white and just pop that like more on the lid. Obviously, like I don't have like a, a base, like a sticky base of like concealer or anything. But like half the time I don't do that because I'm just kind of doing a subtle this um and then because i've been putting my lashes through a little bit of torture lately i ended up trying out and i did it two times actually i ended up doing those falsy the um diy lash clusters with the bond and seal the first time i ever did it uh that honestly really wasn't that bad i like got it pretty much spot on the only difficult part for me really is doing my left eye because i'm right-handed um and like i the angle and it, it's weird i also don't have the correct um tool i have the straight like tweezers and i need the like more l-shaped one y'all know what i'm talking about if you know what i'm talking about but i need the more like l-shaped proper ones that would probably help me with the placement um but yeah the first time i did these i only kept them on for a day both times but the right eye goes on good like i can do the right eye great the left eye i struggle so bad um but the second time i did it i i don't i i don't really know what happened but something was like pinching on my inner corner and even though i did still leave it on for like a day or so because i was going on a date with my boyfriend and i was like but i don't want to take them off because i take them off and my lashes underneath look horrendous as fuck and so i was like that no i'm no we're gonna suffer with whatever the fuck thing is happening with these lashes so basically after i got home after the date and stuff like that i uh <laughs> rip them bitches off and basically my eyelashes have been through a lot this last week but on um, they're actually they're still vibing they're still there they're healthy i don't know i mean my lashes are still there like none of them like ripped out or anything which i totally thought i fucking did um no they're still there they're still fine so we're just gonna go in with some regular old mascara and make these babies look good you know what i'm saying actually look at that i have pretty natural lashes i just They don't pop like they should when I do dramatic looks. I honestly would like to get my natural lashes a um a lift in tint because they would probably look so beautiful. So I can tell that this inner oh I already have a lash. Oh I don't think it's picking up on camera, but I literally have a lash that just fell like into my eye. Oh my god. Do you see her? Ah, <laughs> the lashes on this inner corner are like kind of sticking together and not wanting to like spread apart because i still have the tiniest bit of fucking bond and seal on my lashes but like it's fine okay after we uh, end up getting the mascara done i just i'm gonna go in with this is actually an eyeliner pencil. I don't use pencils, but I have this one because uh, when I was in cosmetology school and I got my school kit, this was in there. So yeah, after I do that, then I will typically, if I <laughs> don't forget, I'll go in with the Great Lash by Maybelline New York. This one for my bottom lashes. I will say my right bottom lashes for some reason have been looking awful. Like I have some like lashes in some spots that are like shorter than on this side. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but like whatever. And then it's just letting my hair down or I just put it up in a messy little ponytail, but this is pretty much it. So if I do more makeup, then this is pretty much it at work if i do makeup but like i said i don't really wear a full face of glam to work like ever it's very 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 rare that i do um so if i do wear makeup it's typically something like this but for the most part i just don't wear makeup because like 
I'm too fucking lazy. So eyebrows is usually the most you're gonna get out of me. And for lips, I'm literally just gonna be wearing some like chapstick throughout the night cause I've been biting my lips so freaking bad lately. So yeah, chapstick it is. So that's pretty much it. But that's it for uh, this makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, everybody say goodbye to Phil. Bye, he's already waving with, with two hands. Hands? Hand, do they have hands? Is that what you consider? Hands? Paws. Something. I don't know. Anyways.